Hi, this is Nitesh Tiwari and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. Well, it's a huge privilege to have uh, Nitesh Tiwari with us, uh, the director, writer, director of Dangal. Uh, the much talked about Dangal that uh, uh, whoever has seen is has been uh, talking in, in such amazing terms that that people are really, literally just just waiting with with bated breath that they just watch the film this uh, this Christmas. Uh, sir, pleasure having you on board, Dangal. First of all, thank you so much. And uh, such expectations, you're, you're just showing the movie to the press on 21st, two days in advance. Uh, where does this confidence stem from, sir? See, it's uh, it comes from multiple uh, uh, channels. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, the first uh, biggest reassuring thing is that we know that uh, we were sitting on a story which is uh, fantastic. Mm. You know, the way screenplay got shaped up, you know, was uh, superb. Mm. And uh, we used to talk to each other, you know, uh, me and my team and Amir sir, that even yeah. if we can manage to get 80% of what we have written, mm. you know, we will have something which is very good on our hands. Right. And I think we have managed to get more than that. Right. And uh, what is extremely reassuring is the kind of feedback uh, we have got from the people we have shared the film with. Right. A lot of people, you know, uh, from industry and complete strangers, different age groups. Mm. And uh, the response has been unanimous. That kind of gives us a lot of confidence, uh, mm. you know, that uh, we have a very uh, good quality product in our hands. Right. So your 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 primary primary in fact uh, in fact uh, uh, profession and your your training has been as as an advertising person. Yeah. Um, how crucial has that been in in terms of just shaping uh, y your career? Because be it Chiller Party, be it uh, 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 Bhutnath Returns, and now uh, Dangal, there is a, a, this element of punchy dialogues which are there, which is something that one can relate to, like in terms of hook lines that you see in uh, uh, in ad films. Do you think that that somehow it has helped you in a way in, in just com, com, coming up with with hook lines and 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 punches? I don't I don't think it's just the mm. uh, hook lines. You know, I usually uh, don't. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of hook lines. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, I usually write my dialogues with my team mm. uh, as more conversational. You know, they become mm. catchy because we are writing it to certain insights. Mm -hmm. you know? Now that's a discipline which we have learnt in advertising. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now. Uh, what advertising teaches you, you know, which is something I find extremely useful is the discipline which it brings with it. Okay. We have been taught to be extremely miser with what we write. Precision, so, we yeah. do tend to maximize. You know. mm. That's why we are able to pack a lot more in the given duration. You know. that is, and secondly is the craft, you know, because in advertising crafting is given huge importance. Mm. After was 30 seconds in. You know, you have 40, 40 seconds to tell a story. Mm. You have to be precise, you know. And at the same time, you are going to go to such a wide range of audience. You know? So you have to have a universal appeal as well. You know? So now that is the thing which we have learned from advertising. Also, extremely important learning for me mm. from advertising, and that is something which I apply in Bollywood also. Correct. I'm not making a film for myself. Right. I'm making it for the people who are going to spend their time and money in coming and sampling it. I'm mm. not trying to prove a point. I better live up to their expectations. You know? So I'm making it for somebody else. Now right. that's your target audience. You know? Now that is something which we have learned from advertising. Absolutely. Like I think that that's something which is very very important as well. Now, whoever has seen it, be it be Shabana Azmi who has seen it in, in September. The movie is releasing in December, and Javed Akhtar Sahib has said that maybe in 10, 15 years he has he hasn't seen a, a film like this. Same with the uh, Karan Johar as well. Uh, Kunal Kohli yesterday tweeted that it's like a Oscar. Uh, uh, award-winning film as well. Um, so the, the, the idea is, we as viewers, we are like totally clueless. Aisa kya hai film mein? Ki that public is tarikhe ki baat kar rahi hai. What is it in the in, in, in the movie that uh, that uh, I don't know? As as a viewer that that you'd like to share with us, that 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 is maybe just just making people react in in, in this manner. Can you can, first, you, can you just first of all, disconnect you know, and just look at it as a viewer at, at the movie? It's very difficult for me to do that. Correct. It's extremely difficult for me to disconnect from mm. the film mm. and watch it as a viewer because I know each and every nanosecond of the film. Mm. So I know exactly what's happening, you know. So what people would see mm. and what I see in the film are drastically different. Mm. People are going to react a lot to the content. I wrote the content. People are going to react a lot to the authenticity of the wrestling out there. We planned it and mm, shot it. You know. it's so it's very difficult for me to, uh, you know, be objective about it and judge it. 
but first of all you know the reactions which uh, we have got from these big names has been extremely heartening you know it kind of proves that the two years which we have put into making this film were well worth it you know. mm. i think what is appealing that's my take you know <coughs> Uh, is that it's a extremely touching story you know mm. which is been told with lot of love and authenticity you know. correct love and authenticity i think are the keywords and i think that is what is kind of attracting people towards it you know mm. they can relate to the characters they can laugh with them they can cry with them and they can get awed by what they achieve in life right I, I, to me those those seem like the biggest uh, attractions so i like to share uh, something with you that when when uh, dhobi ghat was releasing um amir categorically told everyone that it's not a regular amir khan film so you should not come with those expectations it is uh, it, it's it's definitely uh, and he said during an interview with me that i could have said that and people have would have come and i could have got like a 50 crore uh, weekend but uh, i did not want to cheat my audience what with talash he said it's a mainstream film but it's not once again a conventional amir khan film in the lines of three idiots so once again he was being extremely honest about the entire thing and um, i don't know if you remember in ludhiana uh, in the evening when we were sitting uh, after the on location in the evening that off camera conversation that we had so i asked him this thing and that uh, do you think that it's like an out and out entertainer what exactly he said it's it's hugely entertaining it's a very very entertaining film yeah. so he precisely is very honest about what he feels about the film is it is it something that that, that gives you like a um, how how do you react to it because people are saying it's like a 350 crore film and it's it's like going all over the places as well uh, as a as an entertainer do, do you find that like a, like a big compliment coming from amir khan who can be extremely ruthless about himself as yes, well yes yes you know uh, and doesn't want to cheat his audience that's one thing which is fantastic about amir you know mm. it's in his dna right. you know the honesty and the integrity bit of it and even if you look at the communication which we have taken out right you know at no point of time he wanted to give any impression to people that he is doing the bulk of wrestling in the film right he is at any given a point of time because he said people will come to sample that and that would be not really a uh, right thing to do the girls are the ones and at at, at any every platform he's gone and said that mm -hmm. that the girls are the ones which are doing who are doing the maximum amount of wrestling he has his own wrestling bit you know, but they are the one who are the forefront runner of uh, the wrestling showcasing the wrestling in the film right you know? he uh, is right you know when he says uh, it's a commercial film you know because it's a very serious subject but it's been written like a commercial film it's got a added layer of humor to it yeah that's, that's what, what makes it extremely commercial and likable you know right. you are getting to see something which is extremely serious but your experience is a light hearted one you know? right the tone and manner is a light hearted one Thank <laughs> you.